Mitchell is uh, an artist currently residing in North Carolina. She has her focus on humor, silly situations, and questioning her surroundings. She is currently figuring out what she wants for herself in life, who she is, and that's why she calls herself an artist. It's through her questioning and free flow drawing style that she realizes more and more about herself. She's graduated from UNCG with a concentration in drawing and printmaking, but has other interests in video making and social practice. Her most recent project was a small artist residency at a local park in Greensboro. All right, we have slide B, I believe. This is the medium grade slide. We're gonna judge it, give it a good score. Oh God, that was like a solid seven. It's Mitchell, it's spelled like Michelle, but it is Mitchell. Uh, today I'm giving you an art assignment inspired by one of my favorite artists, Nina Kachadorka. And I found her through some research. And she's most well known for being playful with her photography and sculpture and video. Um, but one of my favorite projects that she did uh, is called Lavatory Self-Portraits in the Flemish Style. And when she boarded an airplane for a flight, and it used only the resources she had on the airplane, uh, including her scarf she had with her and the toilet seat covers in the bathroom to create Flemish style portraits um, in the bathroom. And I just thought that they were hilarious. And uh, they just, I don't know, they just make me happy. So my assignment to you is to go into a public bathroom, whether that is at your local school, your mall, your library, a fast food joint, anything and use the public bathroom to create art. So that could be uh, staying in there for like a really weird amount of time, like three hours or something, because no one's in the bathroom for three hours. Or you could go in and pretend that you're like a hand-washing cop and make sure everyone washes their hands. Or you could go in and use what is it there in the bathroom to create art. So it could be the toilet paper or paper towels or just rolls of toilet paper or anything. Um, just make sure that you clean it up, of course. Or you could even bring something into the bathroom, like your own artwork, or maybe something that people wouldn't expect to find in the bathroom, and leave it there. So, yeah. Alexis is interested in creating art in places that are not normally socially acceptable, which relates to Marl Lederman Ukeles, who is an artist in the late 1960s, participated in an artist residency at the New York City Department of Sanitation and also did work that involved doing her everyday chores in a gallery. Yeah, Alexis' work also reminds me of art intervention which is made to interact with an existing structure or situation, uh, being it another artwork, an institution, or a public domain. And so the bathroom is this open space where y'all are being invited to interact, intervene, and that I hope you have fun doing that. And I think it's really cool that you can still have good art that's not necessarily in a gallery or a museum. So you walk into this public bathroom and there's like good art on the walls that you're not expecting to be there, and that's really interesting, like challenging the settings of where you're creating art showcasing. Right, it, it can be very liberating, uh, creative, wild, and I love it. So documentation I'm going to leave all up to you. You can either take photographs, take uh, maybe a small video of some kind, um, or even make drawings in the bathroom. Um, but this is all up to you. Sometimes it's better not to document it at all, so that way you can focus more on the experience that you're having. So, good luck. I hope you guys have fun and do weird, crazy things in the bathroom. Bye!